Hey, welcome to my journey into Vlogmas Day 9. Today's video is another collab with myself, Joan, Edie, and Sandy. And today's video is all about Christmas ornaments. We're making you a Christmas ornament. I made two. One, just a little quick one, you know, just to add to it. Something I made back whenever it was... Our table's little, so it was in the late 80s, and to me, it was my prettiest Christmas tree ever. It was a live tree, a beautiful Fraser fir, just beautifully shaped, perfect size and everything, and everything on it I made, and I made it all match, and it was so country looking. Oh my gosh, it was a beautiful tree. I wish I had a picture of it. I, I know I don't. But I had these little cinnamon sticks. They look like a little stack of logs, like you might have by a fireplace. So that's one of the little, the little add-on ornament I did. The main ornament, um, I saw somebody talking about them, and they showed a picture, and I'm like, I can do that. I didn't read any instructions, and mine does not look like theirs. Mine looks like mine. Everything I do looks like mine. I think they turned out adorable. So... Their little paint palettes made me look like muffin tins. So stay tuned to see how I make these ornaments. I hope you like them. And well, let's see. Oh, be sure and check out everybody below. Get you some more ideas. It's still time. You, you have time to get ornaments for your tree. You do. So, all right. Let's turn around and get started crafting. So this is what we are going to make today some little muffin tin ornaments to hang on my little pencil tree in the kitchen. Now let me set this aside somewhere. And this is what we're working with. The paint palettes that you get from the Crafter Square at the Dollar Tree. There's six in a pack. And any little ornament that you want. I found these at Walmart. They were $2.48. They did have some gingerbread ones, but when I saw these with kitchen items on it, I couldn't resist. So I got two of the same thing. I guess I could have got one of each, which maybe in hindsight I should have, but that's okay. So these are the two main things, and you'll, you'll need some ribbon and some hot glue and some paint. So let me set those aside, because the first thing we want to do is paint our little palettes here. And I am using, you can use whatever paint you want. I'm painting mine black. You can you can paint yours any color. If you want red muffin pans to go for Christmas, you want green, you want brown, you want silver, paint yours whatever color you want. I'm doing black, and I am using the chalk paint in ink because to me that just looks more like a um, muffin tin, and I kind of want it to get a realistic look. Of course, you know, these days, there's all colors of bakeware. I went in and opened the other pack, so we've got all the backs painted. Now we are just going to turn around and paint the front. Now all my little muffin tins are painted. What I want to do next is punch a hole in the top. Now I'm using my crocodile, but I imagine which side do I want this one. Uh because this is so thin, probably a regular hole punch would go through that. I just I like the size of this. Which I mean the bigger size would be just fine too. So let me punch all these. Now, because I want to make this more realistic and a little rustic, I want to sand around like it's used. You know how when a muffin tin gets used, the like if this is a um, non-stick coat and it starts to wear off. So this is just a sanding sponge that I got at the Dollar Tree. You can use regular sandpaper, a nail file. And I'm just going around the edges of the, I kind of got a little bit deep with that one. Oh, I think I missed some paint right there. That's okay. We can put that under where there'll be a bow or something. 
And you can see there is no right or wrong because muffin tins are going to wear the way muffin tins are going to wear. Okay, let me go around and do that to all of these. Now comes the fun decorating it. And you can use any kind of greenery that you have. If y'all remember, back in the summer, I bought that um, box of vintage or ornaments from Wanda for $5. And that's what my tree is going to be this year. I've got them all sorted out, separated, ready to go. Well, these little things were in it. And I thought, why buy um, greenery when I can just take the greenery off of these and use what I've got? I don't know. Let's see. Let me. I don't know if I want those. Let me. Oh, here's your little tip. Get your little. This is something I've had for umpteen years. I use it when I sew to put my stray threads and whatnot all. It's the same principle as a garbage bowl when you cook. Get you a little garbage bowl when you craft. That way when you have little odds and ends like this. Like I can save that for a something. But for now we'll get it over there out of our way. I was going to see if these holly leaves would come off. If I could use them. I don't know if I'd like the way they look or not. Let me see. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do first, let's see, I think I'll use this. And let's put that and maybe that. Hmm. We'll see. Now, let, let's make a bow. I cannot make bows. I can't make bows of any kind. My bows... Oh, I didn't get my scissors. Hold on. My bows look like a toddler made them. So, I am opting for the easiest bow I know how to make. And it still doesn't look all that great. <laughs> get you a little piece of ribbon. Cross it over. You know like the little ribbons that you um, pin to your shirts and things in, in honor or whatever things. Cross it over like this and then put it together like that. Pinch it together. Here's the part that I always mess up because I don't pinch it good and I don't... <laughs> Get you a little piece of thread. I'm using this little red and white baker's twine that I got from the Dollar Tree forever ago. I think they still sell it, just different colors. And we're going to try to, I'm trying not to let go because I know it's going to come undone. Oh, I do that all the time when I'm sitting over here. I can't tell when I'm on or off. See it coming gathered. So let me just see what I can do about it. I'm just tying another knot. Okay, let's cut these off and see if we can fluff this into something that resembles a ribbon. A bow, I should say. I need some better scissors. Goodness. Those are terrible. Well, 
Okay, sorry. <laughs> I, I craft close up to me, and I don't realize that I'm, because I'm not normally filming. Let me slide that over a little bit. So, there. That's good as it gets. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So, let's see if we want all of that. Like I want that. Maybe just I think I might do it like I did the other one. Put that there and that kind of across. And that there. And that there. Okay, let's let's glue it down. Let's do it. Let's go for it. I had my hot gun, hot gun, hot and ready. I don't know why that's not wanting to stick. We'll hold it down a bit. Okay. Now, you can add anything to this you want. You can wrap ribbon around it. You, you, can, you can glue anything to these little muffin pans that you want to glue to them. This is just how I'm doing them with um, just these little few items that I have. I mean, you can get all elaborate as you want to get. I've seen some. They've got like little peppermints down in there. They don't look like peppermint candies. I don't think they're real candies. I don't know what they are. But I don't have any of those, so I'm not doing them. Now, what I did mean to do was tie my ribbon up top on first so I didn't bump this stuff around. But what it is, I'm just using regular ribbon that I cut in half to make it skinnier. And the um, shedding of it, whatever you call it, fraying, that doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother me at all. I'm just going to leave enough. Well, enough to hang it on. Listen, I can't even tie a knot, much less a bow, apparently. There we go. Now, I think it's adorable. So I'm going to 
just work on all these and when I get through I will show you what I got all right I've got them all finished now here I've added a little jute um, bow I just am not happy with my bows I told you I can't make bows and I just was not happy the way with it the way this this one actually looks better than some of the other ones but so I decided to add that. I'm going to show you how to make that bow. And also, let me tell you, some of these ornaments are popping off. Some are not, and some are. So what I did was I took my Gorilla Super Glue for the ones that were popping off and put them on with that. So just be aware, you might need to have some super glue on hand in case your um, hot glue pops off too. But let me show you. I just have my jute twine. I did this, oh my gosh, they don't even make these at Dollar Tree no more. I've had this for years and years and years, and that is just how I store my jute. It keeps it very nice and neat. So what you're going to do, pull you out of length. Get you, for this, this size, I just need two fingers. So I'm going to hold a little piece right there, and I'm going to wrap it five times. There's one, two, three, four, five, and back around. And we're going to cut that off. Now I just need a... A length of, let's see, I'm, I can do it up here. Let me move this out of the way. Then you just need a length of jute to tie it because you're going to just kind of squeeze it in the middle. Put that in the middle. Hold it down with your finger just to keep it from jumping around. And tie you a little knot. Now, I'm glad this did this because I want to show you. It, see how it's off center? It is easy. You just slide it. Slide it to where it's even. There you go. And then tie an extra knot so it stays tight. And then cut off the little tails. Unless you want to keep them, but I don't think it needs it on this kind of bow. And then you want to fan it out. So to give it a little bit of fullness. And just dab you a little bit of hot glue and stick it in the center of the bow you have. And you can do this on all kinds of bows. You can do these little things. You don't have to put them on top of ribbon bows. You can do them all on their own, different sizes. So I will take you in there and show you what they look like hanging on my tree. Okay, we're going to work on this little cinnamon stick ornament. I just want it nice and simple. This is going with my little kitchen tree. Nothing fancy. There's going to be plenty of other stuff on there. Just a nice, simple little ornament. So these are cinnamon sticks that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I don't know if that's something that every Dollar Tree will get or not. But now they will hold on. seriously need some new scissors they will break in half but let me show you I've got pieces and parts because sometimes they break in half and they come apart but I'm not throwing this away because I might want to use it for something so I'm definitely not going to get rid of it I'm just going to put it back in this bag so any of these I have that oh this one's going to fall apart I'm going to tell you right now I'm going to go ahead and put it look at it I'm going to go ahead and put it in that bag. So there. See, some of them come apart really nicely. That one, I might get half out of it. I don't know. Let's see. Well, it won't do me. We'll hold it. Okay. Those. That one stayed together. That one didn't. Well, I'm having... Maybe, you know what I'm going to do? Let me put these up.
I am going to check something. So let me set these aside. I have some cinnamon sticks that I bought to do this at the international market. I don't know if these would be any better than the ones from the Dollar Tree. I was going to save these aside and just use these, but we will go ahead and test and see if it makes a difference what kind of cinnamon sticks you get. Okay, that stuck together. It's a different um, scent. It's a different cinnamon scent. It's a little thin one. And let me set that aside. I don't know about that. Well, so far, so good. Oh gosh, this one won't break. I can't break that one. Oh well. I'm going to say, I'm going to set all this aside. And we'll break another one if we need it. I'm going to say, the type of cinnamon you get might make a difference in if it breaks apart on your, or if it don't. You can look at the difference. Difference in color. Hold on a minute. There. Difference in color. This one's firmer. So, let's set those aside. Now we want to take two. And glue together for the bottom. Just hold it in place a little bit. And then one we're going to put right here in the middle. Okay, now I have this ribbon. I need, I didn't measure about how much I needed. I put it right in the middle. Just gonna tie a simple little knot, double knot. these down kind of cut it on an angle I declare I need better scissors so cut them at an angle then get you a little piece of twine right there just run it right through the back Bring it up. We're just going to do a little knot in the end. Nothing fancy. Cut it off if you have a little bit of excess. Then we're going to pull it through and kind of try to hide that little knot under the ribbon if we can. Well, almost. 
Yeah, that's close enough. And then there we have our little hanging ornament. So when I get all these done, we will go out to the Christmas tree and see how they look.